This first revenge attack came not against an American target, but a Pakistani military facility overnight. Reports continue to show and grow at least 80 dead now, with Pakistani Taliban claiming responsibility for going after what they call the American ally. Meantime, officials tell ABC News they've learned more about al-Qaeda in the last 10 days than in the last 10 years, going through an estimated 1 million pages of information, and it's all becoming very personal. Bin Laden writing he wanted to find ways to kill President Obama, and the president acknowledging that new threats against his grandmother are being closely monitored. At the Kenyan village where she lives, the president's 88-year-old step-grandmother Sarah shrugged off death threats against her from an al-Qaeda group. But the president seemed concerned when asked about the threats by Univision Television. After having killed bin Laden, uh, there may be uh, a desire on some uh, uh, al-Qaeda members to exact revenge. Uh, and that's something that we have to be vigilant about. Uh, and we're monitoring uh, all these situations very carefully. The threats against the president's grandmother came from the al-Qaeda affiliate in Somalia, called al-Shabaab. Its leaders include an American from Alabama, known as Abu Mansur the American, who was recorded this week threatening America and President Obama. Today, we remind Obama and the rest of his cronies that they have entered the long war. The American turncoat from Alabama has been issuing threats against President Obama going back at least two years, in keeping with orders from the top. Bin Laden's own writings, discovered at his compound, indicate he urged his followers to assassinate the president and find ways to disrupt the 2012 American elections. I would say this is probably very personal on Bin Laden's part, to kill a president that he believes has probably violated the Muslim faith. In fact, the video of bin Laden watching television in his hideout shows that whenever President Obama came on the screen, bin Laden quickly tried to change the channel. One more development overnight. U.S. officials say they were finally given access to bin Laden's three wives, but that the session did not go well. In fact, it was very hostile, according to what we're told about the demeanor of the three women. As many could imagine. But, Brian, we're also getting more details about what exactly happened during that raid of the compound. That's right. Each of the U.S. Navy SEALs wore a helmet camera recording events. They also have been debriefed now. And we're told as they approached the third floor landing where uh, Osama bin Laden was, they saw him. They opened fire, but missed. He then ran into the bedroom. The SEALs went in, pulled the, girl, the daughters and mm -hmm. the children away, and one SEAL fired in the chest, one SEAL fired in the head. And that's how he was killed. Oh. Very dramatic developments there. And we're going to continue to learn more and more. As you said, everyone had a helmet cam, so it takes yes, time to exactly. see all that video. Sort it all out. Yeah. Thanks, Brian.